first. Last Monday, after District Judge Donald Carroll quashed the first attempted capital murder indictment against Ken Bohr, District Attorney Hunter Brush told East Texas News he would rewrite the indictment and go before the grand jury today. Second, that same day, lawyers for Bora, Charles Tesmer and Weldon Holcomb, told East Texas News they would make available to the grand jury names of sheriff department officials that would have a positive effect on Bohr's defense. Tesmer and Holcomb did send a letter with those names included to the grand jury Wednesday. A half dozen sheriff department officials were subpoenaed to go before the grand jury, and today, some of those officials were seen going in and out of the grand jury room, as was Brush, who became very angry at seeing our cameras parked in the courthouse hallway. Turn off the light, please. Why, honey? Why can't I shoot here? You all are planning on taking pictures of witnesses and the wind. Just people coming out and in the door, that's all. After his short conversation with photographer Robert Hilliard, Brush marched into District Judge Glenn Phillips' office. And about an hour or so later, we were served with a court order banning all cameras from the second floor of the courthouse. The order cited the shooting of pictures in the hallway was disruptive to the grand jury's proceedings and could tend to intimidate witnesses and prospective witnesses subpoenaed by the grand jury. Later this afternoon, while we didn't have cameras on the floor, artist Shirley Kirkley captured a picture of Craig Matthews walking down the hallway on his way inside the grand jury room. Gail Leach, East Texas News, Tyler.